Hey guys, welcome back. I've got a lawnmower here that was just serviced like a month ago. And the customer called me back. He says, I've only used it a few times and it's not running well. Now, when stuff leaves my shop, I power wash it so it's completely clean. The first thing I could see here is some oil on the body. Look at that. All the dust has stuck to it. So what I will do here is start it up, let you listen to it run. Some of you guys may already know the problem and then I'm going to show you what happened. Okay, so you can see it starts up good. Now the issue is that it doesn't want to rev up to, to speed. It's revving a lot slower than it should. And what's causing this is the air filter is plugged with gas and oil. So as some of you guys may have already figured out, somebody tipped this mower over with the air filter facing down and cleaned the underbody. And if you do this when the engine is warm especially, the hot oil is more prone to come through here, through the vent tube over here, and get right into your air filter. Plus you've got all the gas coming out of the carburetor getting into the filter as well. And look at it, it's all wet. My hands feel all oily here. And once you get oil in there, it's really hard to breathe through this filter. So that engine needs air just like we do, and it's having a hard time to breathe through it. Through it. And this filter is heavy because it's all soaked up in gas and oil. So be careful guys, if you flip your mower over, flip it with the air filter up and do the job that you need to do fairly quickly. Also, like I've showed in a previous video, the ultimate way to not get this issue is if you tip up the mower like this and then clean it up. And I do recognize that sometimes you have to have the mower tipped over to fix the drive wheels or other stuff like that. But when you do that, try to do it as quick as you can and have the air filter facing up. So let me start it up here, guys, and you're going to see that it will run perfectly. So there you go, you can see the difference here. Now it's really easy to fix this, I'm just going to clean it up with some carb cleaner. So I've got a rag here to grab all the carb cleaner. And the top cover is not too bad. You can clean that up as well. And now just install a new air filter and you're back in business. Okay, so this is how most equipment leaves my shop here, all pressure washed like that. Another thing you need to check if this happens or if you get a customer that does this is check the spark plug as well because it will make it get black like super fast and you may find that you have to replace it because it's fouled up. So check the air filter, spark plug and you should be good to go. Hopefully this has helped you out. Thanks for watching and have a great day.